Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Dr. Phil here and this is the first test of the new system. So it'll be probably a longer video, ironing out the new kinks of, or the kinks of this one. So I've got, this is another of the 53 frogs, no surprise there really. He's been, Riley Gunn has been pretty good providing some rough recently. I do want to cut a decent stone of course, but um, that's not the purpose of today. But I will put the usual um, care into it. What it looks like, just so that you know, I'll probably be differentiating by which is backed by black and which isn't. So this bit here will probably be cut off, um, that piece there will probably be cut off, and I will be left with just a black section. Probably this section here will be carved off as well, because it's a bit thicker and uh, over here. So that's my general idea. So let's just um, get this thing moving. The only problem I've got is... I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bit of a shimmer to this. So what I might do, I'll clean up the sides, clean up the top and see what we get. Look at that. Okay, so there's a technique that I've learned from experience when we're doing this. Basically, sometimes you get opals which have got amazing properties from certain angles. So... I will be cutting and I'll be cleaning as per normal, but I will actually be um, also testing out angles as I do it. So sometimes I'll be cutting at this angle, sometimes this angle, sometimes that angle, sometimes that angle, just to get, put a few little facets onto the opal itself to see what, and what, what happens. If I happen to notice it's something that stands out, because I cut it off, but um, here you can just see a little piece that was that's flashing away from this angle. So to me, that says that there's value in, you know, testing the angles at this point here. Bucket moving over, that's the first arm um, kink. So, oh, I see. Hang on. I will have to deal with this eventually, but that's fine for the time being. There we go. First kink solved. It wasn't a big one. All right. So basically, I'll be testing out the angles. As you can see, what I might actually have to do, which is good for testing anyway, there's a bubble there, or a cavity really. So basically, I'll carve that off at the cavity. And actually, just looking, sorry about this. There's actually a line of, a dark line. I'll cut along that dark line. So let's see if I can. Can you see that dark line? I'm just using the ordinary light. Let's just move it up so you can see. There we go. So I'll just cut along that line there. Just as a test section for my test cut. Okay, so there's another failure that I forgot about. It's this section here. I've got some fly screen material over here. What I'm intending on doing, and I probably need to do it sooner rather than later, is to basically net up all of the areas so that I actually catch all of the stones as they fly away. I have no idea where that stone went, but it went far. I think I hurt, felt it hit my foot. But we can't have that happening, can we? Okay, so there's another point of failure that we need to test. So remind me, audience. <laughs> Here we go. Cut at multiple angles just to see what that was going to do. I'm also testing what happens when I cut at what angle. And did you see that? <laughs> Fling! That went into the garden. I'm not showing you because I haven't mowed for a while. <sighs> I 
found it. That's telling me that I actually literally need to have a piece of netting which is to the right here. So I'll get in, I'll be getting that happening. That's good. Piece of garden. this one freeform I think. Now one thing that I've noticed is that the extreme angles here produce a very interesting effect so I reckon that despite the fact that it's backed with black I reckon the way to go is to literally cut through that black. I will cut this as a freeformer. I've got this left over so I'll find a section and I'll cut it from the opposite side and see what happens. So I reckon we should be cutting so that this spongy layer is actually backing. I think it's that spongy layer that's doing it. Interesting. So not only am I getting a good test piece, I'm getting an interesting opal. Oh, oh. Hmm. Okay, so that's my test done. <clears throat> as far as the opal is concerned, I'm giving it something called a laminar flow shape. What that means is that the shape is equal from the top and the bottom. Okay, Dr. Phil out.